Alright, well, oh my. Yeah, we, we, we can't do this. We honestly cannot do this. Ah, there we go. That's more refreshing. To start this podcast off, that was very weird and interesting, but I honestly don't get why in some, you go to some guest house, let's just say for dinner, um, and they have a plant that's the size of, you know, some sort of palm tree, and you just can't see the person across the table. But you know what? Although we haven't got any two new guests for the co-hosts of the Underground podcast, yeah, we we secured the bag, we've got a plant, we've got a plant. Um, comment down below what you think the plant's name should be, all right? And uh, it can't be rude, it's got to be something, you know, PG at least, yeah. I, I don't know, and don't if anyone's gonna write in Zingy, just stop typing now, please. Uh, but we've got a lot of things to talk about in this underground podcast. I believe this is episode six, yeah. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I hope this is episode six. We've got a lot to talk about today. We've got some juicy business to talk about. But, but um, before we start anything, I want to say as well with this plant, like I'm not really a plant person, I'm not really a nature person. So if there's anyone in the comments, type uh, uh, comment below. How do you how do you actually keep plants? And I know it sounds like a really dumb question, and it is because I'm a college dropout. All right, but how do you keep care of plants? Any vegans out there, whatever, comment down below. Seriously, but no. Before we do sort anything, we've got a we've got a brand deal. We've got a. Sp- so, uh, I'm, well, I'll fuck this shit, I can't do this, I can't do this fucking sh- oh my, I fuck shit, I'm swearing in the first 10 seconds of the video, this is going to get demonetised and YouTube are not going to recommend me, what am I doing with my life? But yeah man, this is the shittest podcast in the world and that's a verifiable fact, but hit that subscribe button, like this uh, like this podcast, like the podcast, like this video which is the podcast, uh, turn on post notifications on, so you get updated every Sunday we're uploading, it's scheduled now, we actually are doing this shit alright, every single Sunday, catch up, what's been happening in the news uh, on the internet, more specifically YouTube media and just our lives in general, I know the first bit is usually us just, me just waffling on, I say us, I need some co-host so if you are watching this video now and you're a youtuber or just a normal person that would like to join me either as just a one-time guest or as permanent co-host because i need two new co-hosts all right i i all thought i had secured the bag of two and then you know they they don't want to do it they dropped out so it's unfortunate and they thought they know you know you are watching this video now r.i.p that coward man it's over for them gg is finished uh but yeah hit that subscribe button this honestly it, i'm gonna be honest it is the shittest podcast ever um, first of all, if anyone's wondering about getting annoyed right now saying where's the diss track on the YouTube that dissed me, it's coming. The diss track is done. I wish I could, I want to just release it as an audio first, but I don't want the views to be split between that and my diss track, like the music video. So I'm filming the music video very soon. I'm just sorting out getting a new camera and stuff. It's been hectic. Definitely this week though, the light is in this week coming up, you're going to be seeing a diss track from your boy. Now to jump into this music topic right now, there's a lot of shit been going on. I, I attended, obviously, you've seen the video to KSI and Randolph's New Age tour. You know, that was very interesting. M- better than I expected. It exceeded expectations, which is always good because I just thought it was going to be one of those corny, and this is just exactly me being naive and arrogant about it. Even though I've been to a lot of YouTube events, but I thought it was going to be a corny event. I know they make good, they, the album's good and they make good music, you know, well, they're making better music as they go on. But oh my god, what's that? Fly. You don't want to smoke, man. Bro, that was that was a big fly. Sorry, sorry. This is what we do on this show. We get on the underground podcast. We get distracted, uh, tangents, all of that. But that's why it's the best cod, uh, podcast in the world. But the show was brilliant. It had people. They had Jamie. Had Essex. They had obviously KSI and Randolph. KSI was also wearing TGF shoulder hoodie, which was which is very interesting. I do like that hoodie. But who else did they have there? I feel like I'm missing some very big names here. And people are shouting. Uh, at the computer screens or phones right now and going, this person was there. I can't remember all the names. Oh yeah, Big Zoo, shout out to him. Very, I've, I've read him a lot now that I've seen him live. Uh, many more artists, Kodeka obviously went solo. He, he went how? I mean, I made a vlog in it. I met KSI and, I must say Logan and KSI and um, Randolph and they're both sound people. That's what I'm saying. This whole YouTube persona, it's just a persona, it's BS. Uh, and I know we're not going to get any sort of monetary value from this. Um, you might get some life values from this podcast, as you normally do. But no monetary value because, um, quite frankly, that we're, we're not under Google's partnership. Google preferred. Please take me under your wing. <laughs> all right. Uh, and also, on the topic of music, all right, can we have an appreciation for Lil Nas X? I mean, I know he did his thing, Old Town Road, you know. You can't. 
I feel like it's kind of cringe. It's, it bangs, but it's also cringed away. It's just been overused and memes and all that. But he's come, like, he's, he's, he's thought clever. He's think I'm, I'm popular now, I'm popping. So he just decides to release, like, five songs in a day. All I can tell, I don't even know if it's an album with decent music videos. One song in particular is on 8.4 million views right now. Lil Nas X featuring Cardi B Rodeo. And I even said to my brother, I think, and maybe a few other people, that when his music video drops or when this drops, like, yeah, just from the title, it's going to bang views. It's probably going to get over 100 million views. And do not tell me this. And I tweeted this. This is what I tweeted. I said, why is, I'll be on the screen now, why is Rodeo by Lil Nas X and Cardi B the new shit where's Mo Bamba? Yeah, this shit goes real hard. Because it honestly does go hard. Like, if let's, can we play a sample? We might get copyrighted, but we're not getting money. So, oh, we've been hit. We've been hit with an ad. We've been hit with a dirty ad. <laughs> Alright, okay, nah. Interesting, this is. I mean, the link will be down below if it helps. Hey, hey. And I feel like, I'm not gonna play too much of it, but the way it's like been produced and mixed and mastered, the voice and stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously the beat as well, but the voice, the way it's been like, the. They, this is the new, I mean, yeah, new age of music and the new era. And I want to know your guys' opinion on this new sort of sound in that they that are leaving the mark in the industry. Because I know they're not going to leave a mark in the industry. These all these little people, and that is a fact. Like I'm sorry, but if you look at the history, all these little people, they're going to get flushed away. Although they might sound good and they make vibey banging songs, the message isn't always there. So and they don't do it for the for the love of hip hop and rap. So unfortunately. See ya to all you people out there. Uh, I'm going to regret this in like 10 years when I'm calling myself like Lil in Zingy X or something. No, joke. That'll, that'll, you'll never see that day. You know, I mean, maybe if, if you's a bit down, I might call myself Lil and Zingy X. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, for now, I'm just in Zingy. Uh, I keep saying subscribe, but you might as well subscribe at this point. You've got this far into the video. You're, I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really proud of you guys if you've made it this far into one of my podcasts with just me who else is doing a solo podcast right now and yes if you're wondering do i have notes written down for the podcast yes who's not fucking organized all right i'm trying to get more of my life into more organized structured pattern all right i know there's been a lot of youtubers a lot of small youtubers a lot of non-youtubers that want to be youtubers a lot of viewers that want to see the sort of stuff this raw footage right, that's what it essentially is no cut this is uncut all right and i know every single youtuber nowadays says oh it's uncut but it's not as raw as this. I need to be careful with my words here. Shh. You know what I'm just going to say. As this, as this raw as this shit. Alright, because we're not getting any money. Um, also, Drake in the industry. I mean, I know it's obvious, but he's back. Ladies and gentlemen, Drake, Young Draco, Big Draco, Drizzy is back. Like, when I say he's back, it's sort of the thing with Logic where it's like, Logic will make a 1-800 song, then it'll make... Like, Young Sinatra 4 album, and he's like, his Bobby's back! But no, Drizzy is back. He comes along with Omerta, or Omerta. Do you know what? I'm not gonna say. Oh, it's, it's definitely, I think it's a Spanish term. I wanna say Spanish. Alright, it's, it's to do with like being, it's like the code word of being quiet and criminal, something like that, because I looked a bit at it, and I actually made my own version, part two. Which will, you, you, you'll know in future videos, because I want to I actually do like a, a parody, not a parody, more of like a remix cover of it, uh, my own version, but that went hard, and then out of nowhere again, he released Money in the Grave, which is another banger, uh, featuring Rick Ross, both of them, but yeah, people are going hard, it's obviously, he's put on his Instagram as well, it's, what season is it? Is it summer? Is it, we know, it's album mode season. I don't know if that works, but it's album mode right now. Well, I'm in album mode. I've got an album come out in um, August. All right, for people who don't care about that, let's <laughs> let's move on. Quite frankly, let's move on. Toy Story 4. All right, now I know I can't say much about it because I haven't seen it. Quite frankly, what is good? Why have I not seen it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's out, but I haven't seen it. I've seen a trailer. It looks funny. Corny, witty, looks cool. But there comes a point in a lot of movies, and this is going to be like a movie section now. Maybe clip this, I don't know. Where, how many movies can you make of something, whether that be Spider-Man, 
Avengers. I mean, I'm not saying to us I can't criticize Avengers at all because I've seen Endgame now. I've seen the light. It's fucking brilliant. It made me cry at the end almost. Uh, and but yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying with the Spider Man. I feel like it's getting too much. I'll be always the first person to watch any Spider Man that comes out. I'm that type of person. Same with all these childhood things. Like if they made a new Monsters Inc. Regenerated is what they say. Regenerated. I'll probably go watch it. Same as all these other movies that they're remaking now, whether it be Harry Potter, Star Wars. But it's true, and it's the same as music, and the same as all sort of form of media out there, visual, sound, or film, words, English, any form of media out there. It's nothing better than the original, and that doesn't. I don't think that means necessarily that you can't get better, because I almost think that with my videos, especially. I mean, I had some classics back in the day, you know, playing Fortnite in my room, in my loft, doing a Q&A. But you do progress, all right, and I would hope they'll progress, but I guess movie makers and directors are just doing it for money now, because I've read a lot of things, because I'm very into movie directing at the moment. That's why I want to do more long-form content for you guys, more acting sort of things with other YouTubers, like, you know, hit the socials, uh, always in Zingy. But yeah, like, with Toy Story, are they making too many? Or, to be fair though, when I see it, as soon as possible, maybe in the next few days, I might come back on social media, I probably won't make a video about it. That is good clickbait. I could use that as, I watch Toy Story and dot dot dot. Secured the bag there, in a podcast, might have to write that one down. Nah. But like, how? Like I might see it and I might come back and say it's good. But I just doubt it. I feel like, one and two, three was alright. I'll give that, it, I'll, it's me mediocre. Alright, so just... just Com C, com sat, all right, for all you French people out there. But yeah, mostly like same as Star Wars. My favorite one is three. The lava scene, Luke, Anakin, Darth Vader, all of that. You know, but I'm, I'm waffling on here. Yeah, that's that's the aim of the podcast. But the way mu music's going and also movies is going into a weird direction. But then I, I often have these thoughts that like I wish there was somebody I could talk to, but I guess I'm just talking to you. I often have these thoughts that like. Is it just the fact that I'm going older? I'm not saying I'm old by any means. I'm 18 years old. But is it the fact that, like, because I would look at, like, my parents or, like, older ones in my family or friends that I know that are older, much older, like, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and they don't get the social media stuff we're doing now. I'm, and to me, it's like, oh, oh it's like, how can you not live without YouTube like this? But for them, it's not there. So maybe to the new generation, the new wave of listeners, visual, like, seers, if you could call them, maybe it caters to, towards them better, and that's the only way I can comprehend it in my head, all right? I mean, it's mind-boggling just thinking about this already. Um, oh yeah, quick note, just while I've just gandered down and seen this, AirPods, um, I like for, you probably noticed in my videos, I am the king at flexing AirPods, and I've always said you're broke unless you have these which is uh, kind of a verifiable, it's not a verifiable fact at all, it's far from that, <laughs> it's all sarcastic, but you'll see me wearing these a lot in my videos. You probably haven't seen me wearing these in the last two weeks of my videos, because I fucking lost them. How convenient for me, I found them, which is lucky, because these are quite expensive, £160, would not want to fork out another 160 for these, and I didn't even buy these, so I would have to use my own money, which I don't have. But anyway, regardless of that, I realised that when I had these airpods, I felt empowered. Each one I put in, my chest just became bigger. I was just like this, oh, this lion. This, and then actually what I realised is when I didn't have them, I'm going to be honest, I know that's cringe for some of you people out there, but I was like, I can't live without them. But then when I live without them for like a couple of days, I'm like, it's fine. I use wires. If anything, wires are better. Yeah? So if you have airpods, you actually are broke technically more than a person with wires because you've spent more. Alright, so all you broke bitches up there, <laughs> I got to say this. No, but uh, for, for real though, they're more easier to lose, and I'm not even, uh, I'm, maybe I'm just fucking clumsy. Maybe I am, I'm not sure. Um, but that's it, going to be it for today's podcast. I know I always like to keep this short, because I know some of your attention spams aren't really there, and also I don't have altercations or any interaction with any other co-guests, because I don't fucking have any. Alright, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry, PG content. Oh man, um, yeah. Oh god, we're crumbling. We need pod. We need pod podcast hosts. All right. So comment down below. Message me on social media on this video if you want to be joining me. But the only problem is because I've tried contacting people, and the thing it seems to be is that with me, 
I don't play around. So like most podcasts, I want this to be... A lot of people have it free. Like in Logan's podcast, Impulsive, which I fucking love and watch all of them. There's like over 80 now, or nearly 100. They do it three times a week. Now, I would love to do that, but quite frankly, it's unrealistic. But I think once a week, every Sunday, I mean, whatever they'll be filming is fine. But as long as it comes out on a Sunday, because they're easy to edit, hardly any editing, really, unless we have more camera angles. Which we're not, because we're not getting that paper, that bread from Google preferred. Fuck. Oh man, I need to stop swearing or YouTube. But um, yeah, I think once a week would be good. So if you are capable of coming down here for once a week, I live in London by the way. If anyone's wondering, if you live in or around London, I, I get if you're too far away, it'd be too expensive or it'd be it'd just be it would be too far to commute. But if you're around for local, let's get this podcast going because I need to, I need some people to interact with. Obviously as well, advantage is that is this is just gonna keep growing. We are an empire. Or I'm not gonna swear again. Promise, fuck, oh man. <laughs> we are an empire though, and we're gonna keep growing and we're gonna have amazing guests on. I've already got a few guests lined up at the moment. Uh, the dates are not confirmed yet, but the, it's going to happen, and we're gonna talk about some interesting shit. And from there, it should only get better and grow. You understand me, son? Alright, I don't know what I'm talking like, I'm from Brooklyn's man, but, f oh man, I've just, I've made this podcast. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the, the worst, the shittiest podcast, i swore again, on platform, and that's a verifiable fact. Look at the stats. We are merely growing each episode. We're m probably getting worse. We need to co-host. Comment down below. Be sure to like this video if you did enjoy this type of content. It's been a bit been a bit boring recently with content. I, need, I mean, I've got loads of ideas. I need to execute them, but I've got a lot of things in the line, the in the pipe works. Is that what is that? I was gonna say. I'm not sure. This is why I need someone to fact check all my shit that I'm saying because I'm waffling as per usual. The college dropout. All right, I've got a lot of things in the work, but you know, there's no football on really. Let's be honest, like from, like that I'm interested in, uh, and it's just it's just shit, man. It's just um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe to join. Honestly, though, I mean, although this is the shittest podcast, it's also very intelligent mind mind stimulating thought provoking in like i was gonna say impulsive but i might get copyrighted but we are impulsive on the podcast in that sense yeah it could go anywhere we go on tangents but it's all in the fun of entertainment and having a laugh so and also all the you haters out there that are gonna hate in this video please do i honestly am begging for some comments on this Slap a comment, whether it's about some topics we said or whether you enjoyed the podcast or didn't enjoy it. I would love, honestly love to hear your feedback. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Underground in a bit.